Yeah. And you can share some of your ideas too. Because, you know, <laughs> I'll be glad to. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so many different strategies out there. Um, but the one that actually um, works um, for me and um, that I share with other people like family, friends, and also my students um, about this winning strategy. You know, it's think about winning, think about success, right? So um, 80% of success is mental and the other 20% is mechanical. So in, in, these, yeah, in these strategies, it, it, it actually starts with, you know, um, the mind. Yeah. Because right. I was going to ask you when you when you say mental, what do you mean by that? Yeah, the the mind. The only way um, you can change anything in life, you have to change your thoughts. You have to change how you feel about those thoughts. And when you change your thoughts and you change how you feel, you react. In a different way. So, for example, yeah, right? Because I was going to just yeah. ask you. I was going <laughs> to ask you for an example. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So, with this winning strategy, so let's just say um, someone wants to um, let's say get a promotion at their job, right? Okay. And first. You have to believe that you can get promoted. You have to really start to believe um, and instill confidence in yourself. Okay. And this is where, yeah, this is where the mind comes in, right? Oh. Because if you don't feel you're confident enough to achieve a particular goal to get that promotion, then you're going to have a hard time um, and- achieving those goals. And what are some strategies to develop the belief system so that, you know, you can help yourself be more inspired and motivated? Well, there, there's so many different strategies. Um, the, the one that, um, because as an energy healer, it's really understanding, you know, some of the blockages that we may have. So let's say some people... <clears throat> may subconsciously feel that they may not be, they may not get that promotion, or they may not feel that they're qualified enough to get that promotion, right, or, or, or a particular job. So you have to go back and um, reevaluate your thoughts. So why do you feel that way? Why do you feel that, you know, you may not get it, or you may not feel good enough to get that um, that promotion. Awareness is the first step of, of healing. So if you're aware that, you know, it could be you, not only you may not feel that you're good enough, but um, why? And that's something that you have to do on, within your inner self. Is this something that happened in the past? Is it something that a situation happened in the past? And it led you to believe that, or someone was telling you as you was growing up that you wasn't good enough. Maybe your parents, maybe your teachers. Um, you know, maybe you was in an intimate relationship with someone, and th- that lover was very negative um, towards you. So you have to be able to realize what is something that's holding me back. What are the thoughts that's holding me back? So okay, so, you realize you got the thoughts that's holding you back. So then we can. We mm-hmm. we as people can basically hold back ourselves or 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 corrode our belief systems based yeah, off of beliefs our, and and uh, past hurts or pains and and and, and subconsciously uh, affect and have that affect ourselves. Exactly, we can be uh, we could self sabotage. We could be our worst enemy. Okay. So it's about what are we saying, what are we saying to ourselves, what are we thinking about ourselves. Um, so once you realize, you know, what are some of the 
negative or uh, self-limited belief that you may have, it's time for you to reprogram it. So it's and about reprogramming. Is reprogramming healing? Yes, it is. It, it, <laughs> it, I mean, that's the only way you'll be able to change your thoughts. That's the only way you're going to be able to change or make a change in your life. You have to be able to clear yourself from the negative. So you have to clear yourself, clean, cleanse yourself or clear yourself of any unprocessed emotions that hold you back from getting that promotion. So it's about detoxing of negative and, and, and self-sabotaging thoughts. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, those thoughts are... And sometimes you don't realize you're saying it to yourself consciously. Um, but if you, you sit down and you evaluate yourself and you just like, okay, how do I feel about me getting this promotion? And then whatever thoughts that's coming to your mind, just write it down. Don't judge it. Don't, um, don't try to figure out. Not yet. Just jot down every thought. It might be silly. Um, it may be something from the past, but, you know, the fact that you have an awareness of your thought process. And then what you so, do is, oh, go ahead. So if we're aware of our thought process, that means that we, we can listen to ourselves think then. Yes, and we do. We have to listen to not um, how we're thinking, but we also got to listen to and pay attention to how our body feels when we say or when we feel a certain way. So when you, and, and this is, uh, you know, I, I give out this exercise to a lot of um, the, the, my students and some of my followers and also some of my clients. If you just think of, let's say, you feel like you're not good enough for that promotion, right? If you would say, I'm not good enough, pay attention. And you want to do this and in, in a quiet environment with, the, with no distractions because you're going to be able to feel your body language just based on those words. So you say, how does your body feel when you say, I am, may not be good enough? You want that promotion, but something in the back of your mind is saying that you're not good enough for that promotion or something, you know, Maybe the, you feel like if you get this promotion, I'll be working around the clock and I may not have time for my parents, I mean, my family. That's, right. a, a, that's a self-limited belief system because how do you know? How, how do you know that you won't have time for your family? Right. You know what I'm saying? She said, you know, we kind of make up these illusions of what could happen. And you may not even have any solid evidence that if it's true right that's almost like a prediction exactly <laughs> exactly so if we're going to make a prediction it might as well be positive right <laughs> exactly exactly so it's about taking that negative thoughts and then then um transforming that thoughts or what is something you want to start saying to yourself now the whole affirmation thing like right now is kind of getting overrated because everyone's, oh, positive affirmation. So you keep saying, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. But like I mentioned, if you have blockage or you have self-limited belief that's holding you back, you constantly tell yourself, I'm a winner, I'm a winner, I'm a winner. Eventually, it's lit. It's, eventually, you're telling yourself that you're not a winner because you have to keep reinforcing it, right? So right. another tip that I teach is instead of saying I'm a winner or I'm successful, you would say, how did I get so successful? <laughs> Why am I so successful? Question. Yes, yes, that's powerful. Because, <laughs> because now it's not so, it, it's, it's reprogramming your subconscious mind, especially with the word success, right? You don't know how you're going to be successful, you may not know in what steps it will take, but you're not supposed to figure it out. And that's the thing. I think too many people try to figure out, okay, that's uh -huh. the only way I'm going to be successful. 
But if you mm-hmm. ask a series of questions and you ask yourself on a daily basis, then it's automatically your vibration is going to rise to the point where you are going to be a little bit, you're going to be more confident and believe that you could be successful. And that's what it is. It's, it's the belief. Anything you want to manifest in life, anything, and if you want to win in anything, you got to believe you can win. How do you think these athletes do it? They, they believe that they can win. They don't have right. doubts, you know? Well, maybe sometimes, some teams. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, they might have doubts, but overall, they, you know, why do you think they practice so much? And right. that's when the mechanical, that's when the mechanical comes in. Right, so you've got to be able to put some type of effort. So if you got, if you want this promotion, promo, this <laughs> promotion on this job, right? So is there a certain type of skill set that you have to learn to get this promotion? Right, to make it, you know, so um, whether it might be training, and nowadays training. If you use, if you go to um, Udemy, it's U-D-E-M-Y dot com. It is the largest platform of online training. And you can get, you could be trained in just about any skill for 10 bucks. 11 technically 11.99. So that's the mechanical part is you put in the effort to make sure that you're going to win. So you have your thoughts, you reprogram your fear, you're, you're clearing yourself from negative belief or self-limited belief. Then you program in new belief systems, believing that you can win, believing that you get that a promotion, then doing some form of action, whether it might be online training or whether... Um, if you want to get promoted, hey, sometimes it's just as easy as you walk in to your VP's office or your manager's office and say, look, I'm ready to, I'm ready to try something new. I'm ready to try something of, of challenge. That's how I got most of my promotion. It wasn't so much of there was a title or there was a job of, um, um, opening and I applied for it. Most of the time it came out of the blue. I would walk in and I was like, hey. You know what? I love what I do. It's great. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I need something a little bit more challenging. You know, is there a certain area or um, a certain position um, that you might need, you know, help with my skill set? And if there is, hey, is there additional skill sets, additional training that I need to take to make, to make it happen? You will be surprised. If you want to win, you got to go out there and you got to get it. You got to go out there and, and, and ask and say, hey, I want to win, so what do I need to do to win? <laughs> Preach. <laughs> <laughs> you can't sit back and expect someone to hand it to you and just say, hey, man, you know what? We got a position that's perfect for you, and you're going to make X amount of dollars. You know, some, it, most of the times it doesn't work that way. Right. Sometimes some people can get it. But sometimes it doesn't work that way. Sometimes you got to go ask for it, but you got to believe. You got to have that confidence. Believe in you shall receive. Exactly. Exactly. And and I think that's what um you know um that that negative thought that those those negative thoughts that we tell ourselves and we think in and we say and we may not physically come out and say it but if we feeling it and and and, and that thought came through our mind then hey you know you have to be able to say address it and say okay where are these thoughts coming from why am i thinking this way you know so if i don't feel good enough for that position what do I need to do to, to, for me to feel good enough for that? If, like I said, if you have to go do some extra training or, you know, always, I always believe in, in learning. 
and learn something new. And it's very impressive. Um, just like any type of athlete, they have to learn a new set of um, um, either exercise regimen or different type of strategy because what you did in the past may not be relevant right now because right you you're changing your thoughts. If you change your thoughts, that means you're going to react and you're going to behave a different way. Right. What what, what about you? What what is some of your winning strategy? Self development is the key. Self de- yeah. development. Readers are leaders. You know, a yeah. person who's who has like uh, audio books on their phone or or an application where they're going through books and they're reading and they're I- increasing their intelligence in whatever mm-hmm. field or whatever area they decide that they want to uh, excel in. You know, if a person spends at least like twenty or thirty minutes a day reading anything, they could be reading about music. They could be reading about technology. Within five years, that person or less, they could become an expert in that field. Exactly, I totally agree. I totally agree. So that means if it only takes twenty to thirty minutes a day to master or to, to start leading to mastery, because that's what you're basically saying. Right. That back to your self development. If you spend twenty minutes a day on improving who you are, whether that might be a form of meditation, that might be a form of any type of energy healing exercise like Qigong or Tai Chi, um, whether it might be, um, and with the whole meditation, is, it's, it, meditation is technically, there's no one way of meditating. You coloring is meditation. You're listening to music or listening to binaural beats. That is a form of meditation. Right. right. So, um, so yeah, yeah, I definitely, I, you know, self-development, it's going to help reprogram your subconscious mind from thinking something negative. And I'm not saying, I mean, we, we have to have negative thoughts. That's like the law of polarity, you know, uh, duality. You got to experience the negative for you to experience the positive. But that doesn't mean that our state of mind can be at a lower vibration at all times on a consistent basis. Right. You know, so, but what else you have? So you got self-development. So work, like working out. Let's see. All right, this this is a quote that um, Denzel Washington said that I love. To get what you have, you never had, you got to do what you never did. In other words... Exactly. <laughs> you you got to change the change that groove. You, I mean, you got to switch the record yeah. up. You know, playing that old record, you know, that you love every day. That's great. But you got to switch up the tune now and then and get comfortable feeling uncomfortable. Because when whenever we're doing mm. something new, whenever we're expanding and growing ourselves, it's uncomfortable. Like if you, let's say you want to go to a Lamborghini dealership, but you feel like that you don't have enough money to purchase a Lamborghini. It's going to be uncomfortable. Yes. Going there. Mm-hmm. You know with those expensive cars. What this car costs 2 million, this car costs 400,000, what have you. But just go in there even though it's uncomfortable, it's an uncomfortable feeling and just talk to them. To you you'd be surprised the the people may be nice. They may even, you know, take you for a ride. <laughs> you know, you never know what can happen. You, yeah. you you might be able to get a ride in one of the cars. So I see it like this. It's like possibilities. Exactly. Infinite infinite possibilities if yeah. we are reaching for greatness, if we're looking to expand ourselves. It's an infinite amount of things that can happen to advance ourselves and to grow. Yeah. 